thing is really about peace and love. And I'm not talking about the 60s hippie kind of peace and love that didn't work, you know. Heat, or the miracle of heat, is going to save this planet. It's going to save the world. trying to avoid this man to avoid. see this this is a mushroom cloud that, this is what heat's about if we can get on the internet and and play people in china and russia on the internet in games then we can divert our primal urge to go over there and do it with bombs and with with weapons of destruction hey you want to know what heat's all about this is what it's all about it's our future it's his future that's why we say heat now he brings us together. We kill each other, but we we love each other. We all have Dr. Bartha, Dr. E.G. Bartha to thank for this. He started right, Cyber Diversion. Every human brain has a reptilian complex responsible for aggression and territoriality. We need it like we need food and water. We cannot deny it, we cannot suppress it, I propose we embrace it. This is our biofeedback center. Right here we have a subject logged on to heat.net so that we can show you exactly how heat works. The wires are connected to the subject's reptilian complex, the part of the brain that controls the most violent tendencies. Basically, you can see as he plays the game, these signals become less erratic, meaning that the signals from the reptilian complex are becoming dispersed. The more he plays, the better he feels. We call this Optimum Diversion Release, or ODR. Did we expect it to become so big? I, I don't know. I guess, you know, we all hoped that it would. But um, it wasn't uh, until we had a million people in Central Park chanting, heat saves lives, heat saves lives, that we really knew what was going on here. With heat, we don't need guns. We don't need missiles. We don't need bombs. We don't need any of that. What we need is to take our aggressions onto heat. I'll feel better. You'll feel better. The whole world will feel better. Hi, I'm Warren Miller, live at the Masonic Temple in Vermont, where hundreds of people have shown up to exchange their guns for heat discs so they can take their innate violent urges off the streets and onto the Internet. And today, Congress votes on a bill requiring violent offenders to spend five hours a day on the Heat online gaming network in an effort to make them less violent. Today, in an historic first, Boris Yeltsin signed a declaration in support of Heat. Yeltsin said he would take any future disputes with other countries onto Heat. Today, people around the world march in celebration of banishing human conflict onto the Internet on this first International Heat Day. Today, I have played heat, and now I know today is the first day of the rest of my life. I am going to be a better person, a happier person. There are those of you who call me the Reverend. The Reverend Bertha. Well, let me tell you, this is not about churches and Sundays. This is about life and forever. This is about acceptance, redemption, and victory. Embracing the killer inside, loving him, and letting him be him. Letting him be him in a painless cyber reality. So we can have a more painless, organic reality. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to have. There is no such thing as good and bad. There is only this and that. You can't